Hello everyone, welcome to Color Designs. Today we will learn about a counter tool. Counter tool uh, comes with uh, other options of drop shadow. As you can see, there is a, a little arrow at the bottom right of uh, this option. You can click on it. The first one is a drop shadow, second one is uh, counter, third one is blend, distort, envelope, and extrude. Today we are going to learn about counter, the second tool. Counter is a very needy or handy tool in uh, Corel Draw, which is very important to use. If I have uh, any kind of word, text, or any kind of shape, uh, so I can use counter on it. Counter is uh, used uh, to uh, increase the size of a logo or layer or decrease it. Uh, for example, I have shape here my computer. I'll select the pick tool and make it bold and enlarge the size and uh, select the counter tool. Now I will click on the text and uh, left click and drag it towards outside. As you can see I have an outer layer around the text computer. Now you can see that I have another layer which is more bold and more thick uh, than the original one that I have. If you want to change the color to learn or to understand it more clearly can select any color from here I will uh, select uh, any random color as you can see the counter tool will give you an outer layer any kind of changes to your design there are options of a uh, counter up here if you want to make an outer layer around your shape you can press uh, on this option outside uh, counter or you can make uh, inside counter if you press on it you will get an inside counter right here so if you want to change the shape or the size you can go here counter offset you can change the size from here decrease it increase it uh, as you will or you need you can change the size this is a more easy option to use with this option you can uh, use or change the size of the counter and you can easily control the size by your needs. This other option is to increase the layer of the counter, which you can use uh, anywhere you want or anywhere you need it. But uh, as I think, I will need only one right here. If you don't want a counter tool, you can clear counter option. You can click on it and the counter will disappear. I need my counter tool. After that, as uh, I have used Control K before, I will use on this layer as well because uh, if you don't use it you cannot select it separately the counter layer as you can see is connected to my text uh, and I want to separate it from my text so I will press Control K if I want to separate my counter layer with my original text so I will press Control K after that I will deselect and select uh, on the counter layer then I can move it around as I want uh, so after this, we'll give you an example to use counter tool or how is it effective in Corel Draw. I will press on the counter layer and press Control D to make a duplicate. I will change the color and uh, move it a little bit to the right. As you can see, uh, the top layer is my original layer, uh, which is uh, the dark one. The middle one is a gray color and the bottom one, uh, is, I think, is blue one. I will press Control place down which will send this layer to the bottom if I want this layer to be at the top of the my layers I will press control page up then it will come at the top now I need it at the bottom so I will press control page down and step by step it will go at the bottom of the, my layer uh, the middle one I will select it and change the color to white now as you can see my word has become more catchy uh, like there has been a drop shadow applied to my word. This is how you use counter tool simply By these two or three steps you can get a very effective shape or style to your word or to your layer In professional classes I will demonstrate more uh, ways of using counter tool in much easier and effective way so you will understand how to use counter tool to improve your design or make it more effective So this is how you use counter tool if you have any questions, you can kindly ask me anytime you want.